Hello folks, this is the assignment for the lab on July 22nd and uh, it is actually a problem from a, a test several years ago. Okay, and I consider this thing as a relatively simple problem. Okay, now because the solution to this has been already has already been prepared uh, I will attach it after this uh, few first few uh, minutes attach it to uh, the present video but please ignore all the things that it says about the uh, the the weighting of the, the breakdown of the marks and things like that the part marks and things of that nature please uh, ignore that and just because if, if the course is offered or the test is offered this this year, for example, the final exam, depending on what the other problems are, the weighting will be different and uh, can completely ignore that. All right. Good luck. So I'll attach the video from a few years back to this. By the way, if this diagram looks familiar, that's because it's coming from your Hebler's book, Dynamics book. And these are the kind of things, kinematic problems, that you can easily do in uh, with hand calculations. Okay, so this is the video segment for the third problem in the midterm. And uh, uh, since each of you may might make these parts in a different way, or have already made the sum which. Uh, uh, more or less look like that and just bring it in. So if you want to do those parts, you have, you know, it's going to take you five, six minutes. Uh, so uh, we go insert, insert, uh, oh, let's start with the file, product file first. Insert existing components in there. And these are the things that I want, the four parts. Okay, good. Uh, let us anchor the the base and put this piece, which is your horizontal bar, as a prismatic bar or a prismatic joint on the base. So coincidence between let's see uh, this back face and that face. And coincidence, it's updated, and coincidence with this edge, no, not that, coincidence in this edge and this edge to make a prismatic joint. There we are. Let me just uh, translate it the direction Y right there. The only restriction is that the distance from the center of the circle to this edge must be the same as the radius of that circle, 6. Okay? Uh, otherwise, uh, this would not work. All right. Coincidence being... Uh, for example, uh, let's, let's do it, this, uh, uh, this hole, axis of that hole, and axis of that hole, and coincidence between this face and that face. Okay, update. Very good. Uh, now, uh, because of the fact that the distance from the center of this little circle all the way to the edge here is the same as the radius of that, that arc always stays tangent to that, uh, uh, to, to that line. In other words, I really do not need a surf slider surface to do that. If you want, you can do it, but uh, it's, it's not going to do you any uh, any harm or any, any good. Now let's uh, do the other one. Coincidence between the axis of this and the axis of that and coincidence 
between this face and that face. What did I do here? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Coincidence between this face and that face. That's what I want. Update. Okay. And finally, coincidence between that edge or that axis and this axis and update okay uh, well let's uh, make this thing look a, lot, a little bit better so let me rotate about uh, this axis uh, sorry I forgot to check that box so uh, check that box rotation about this axis and let me there okay good once again I want to point out that the distance from the center of the circle all the way to that edge must be the same as the radius of the circle just look at the geometry in the drawing this is what you need to do okay if that is the case, that arc at the bottom always stays tangent to this, and therefore this arc always slides on that. And even if you created a slight curve joint, it's not going to do you any harm or any good. So let's go to the digital mockup. Uh, get the magic wand out. New mechanism. Auto create. We should have uh, revolute and prismatic joints. Yeah, okay. And this one's cylindrical because all I did was access to access. So for example, I can make this thing uh, length driven. And uh, let's uh, check it out. Immediate. There. You can change the range so that it, uh, you know, it goes in the in, in the range that you want. But anyway, there is your mechanism. You can see that. Okay. And that takes care of uh, the problem. Okay. Let's stop this.